Hello, thanks for watching this YouTube video. I wanted to talk about some 2019 off-season adjustments to the 72 Winter Mint Green Big Block 496 Nova. Currently running some AFR 315 heads on my 496. And it was brought to my attention late last year with a late cam swap that my ported intake, which was gasket matched to my Team G intake for a different set of heads before I went to the 315s, didn't line up the greatest in the runners with the new AFR 315s. So I went out and picked up this used 2902 Edelbrock Victor Jr. R to replace my Team G 7523, which again has been massaged and port matched to my heads and to this Mr. Gasket gasket. Let me remove this. This is the old gasket here. And it was matched up to the 5918 gasket. Now, the Edelbrock heads, I believe, recommend my new gasket, which is the Felpro 1275s. And this is what the old intake looks like in the runner area with that new gasket on the ported intake. Now, if we look up here, here's the new intake. You can see that there is significant amount of meat in there between the gasket and where the runner is that could be potentially hogged out in an all effort type of deal, which we'll see if I get to that point. But I just want to see what it does intake to intake. Again, this one has real nice finish in, in here. Can't really see it without a light. You kind of see in those chambers. Real nice finish from the porter. And in here you got very rough castings. Au naturel. So that's kind of the intake runner. We'll look at a couple other things here in just a second. The next thing I want to talk about is the height of the intake. On the car, just setting it without a gasket, the Edelbrock looked significantly shorter. As I come around here, I actually measured it with a square and the front is pretty much dead on at about six and three eighths off this flat surface I'm working with. But the back, if you notice, it kicks up about three eighths of an inch on the Team G. Now I just run a two and a quarter inch cowl induction hood, so that little bit could be the difference between running a nitrous plate or not running a nitrous plate without having to get a different hood. So we'll see how that goes. So in addition to the height looking different to the naked eye, I noticed that the opening for the carburetor is significantly different. So we'll take a quick measurement here. All right. It comes out to 3680 ish. If we go to this side, you notice we've already got to move it some more. And we come out, we got 41, no, 4067. 4067. So, noticeable difference now. It's not such a big deal because the actual gasket is closer to the Edelbrock than it is to the Team G. There's a bit of overlap where the gasket material comes into this open plenum. And something else I want to mention, in the Team G, there is a significant amount of space there above the runner to the bottom of the carburetor. And in the Edelbrock intake, you just don't have that. It's once I measured it earlier at three eighths of an inch, and on this one, it was maybe an inch something or close to seven eighths something in that neighborhood. So we'll see. The track won't lie. We'll get some real results as soon as we can. We'll post them up, and at the end here, I'm going to show some pictures of what the intake looked like before I pulled it off the car, so you can kind of see where that runner was an issue, and then I've already laid the new intake on without a gasket it already looks like a big improvement 
And uh, if I have time, I'll certainly get a picture with the gasket on before I put the fuel injection back on it, the EFI, the uh, FiTech, and we'll just kind of see if that runner still looks as good as it did without a gasket. Again, thanks for tuning in.